Hello my strong sisters and welcome back to the community. Today I'm going to be giving you the ins and outs of strength training and your complete beginner strength training guide. If you have been wondering is strength training going to benefit me? How do I start? Where do I start? Then this video is for you. I'm going to be going over what strength training is, the equipment you need, and exactly how you can start your strength training journey safely and to get strong and get the best results possible. So you may be wondering, what is strength training? Strength training, which is also known as resistance training, lifting weights, is a form of exercise that helps to focus on building muscle mass, building strength through using resistance. This can be dumbbells, a barbell, band, equipment in the gym. One of the main reasons that I am such a huge proponent of strength training is its insane benefits for women. As women, we are super prone to osteoporosis, which means as we get older, our bone density will start to decrease in strength training can help to maintain and increase our bone density as well as maintain and increase our lean muscle mass. So when you see those women on Instagram looking so lean and toned and you think all they're doing is cardio, 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 that lean tone look that you're seeing is actually their muscle, which they've developed from doing some form of strength training or resistance training, whether that was with weights, bands, or gym equipment. So the next question, I already know you're thinking it, is will strength training training make me bulky though? Will it make me gain more mass? And I'm here to kind of debunk this myth for you. All forms of exercise are going to burn calories, which will help put us in a calorie deficit, which will then help us to lose body fat. Strength training is a great form of exercise because not only does it help you burn calories, but it also will help to build and shape muscle on your body. And the more lean muscle mass that you have, the healthier you are gonna be overall. You're going to have better immune system, you're going to be less prone to injury, and your metabolism will also be higher than if you didn't have that lean muscle mass. So now if you're like, okay, Kira, I could see myself getting into this. I think I'm ready. Here is what you wanna know next. It's really important to have access to free weights. This can be dumbbells, kettlebells, or even things like bands. You can start to develop your own little home gym by getting some dumbbells. I recommend starting with something from five, 10, 15, to even 25 pounds just to start if you're lifting at home, because that's a really great range to use for upper body exercises and lower body exercises. If you do really want to commit and go all into your strength training journey, I highly recommend getting a gym membership. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Even Planet Fitness is a great place to start because you will have access to tons of dumbbells and you will have access to a lot of machines. But when you're starting off your strength training journey, the biggest thing I want to harp to you today is to make sure that you focus on first learning the basics and even learn the basics with just dumbbells. The gym can be intimidating and weights can be intimidating. So I find with all of my clients that starting out with dumbbells is a really great place to begin. Also because they're free weights, it's a little bit more comfortable for people and there's a little bit less of a learning curve for exercises that may use a barbell or that may use machinery in the gym. So I first would recommend learning the basics such as the squat, deadlift, the shoulder press, the bench press, and the hip thrust. Once you learn all of these exercises, you have learned almost any movement pattern that you're going to need for your workouts in the gym. So this means that once you've nailed those, you can go and use any machine pretty confidently in the gym as well. If you are in need of a beginner strength training guide that's going to teach you the basics and just use dumbbells so you could do this at home or you absolutely could do it in a gym be sure to check out my free three-week beginner strength training program i will link it above for you to click here and check out that program also is going to give you four workouts a week to do which is a great place to start as a beginner for strength training and the workouts are not overly intense or incredibly taxing so they are perfect if you are a beginner so now that you know you need to have some dumbbells you need to have maybe some machines in your program and you also need to have a program what other equipment may you need? First, you wanna make sure you have a flat pair of shoes that have a wide toe box, meaning that you have enough space where your toes are to wiggle them and move them around. Strength training movements require a really solid foundation through your feet, whether you are sitting on a bench and you still are pressing through your feet or whether you are standing and you are doing something like a squat or even standing and doing a shoulder press. Your stability is all gonna start with your feet. So if you don't have on a good shoe, you're gonna be at risk for injury and you might not feel as strong in the long 
long run. I'll share a few of my favorite shoes in the description below. I also want to go over some of the common fitness terminology so that you don't feel super lost when you're reading a new strength training program or when you are talking to people and you hear them using words in the gym and you're like, uh, I don't know what to do. So when you see a strength training program, certain things may be written like this, three by 12, 3x12. This means you will do three sets of 12 repetitions of that exercise. So for example, let's say you have three by 12 squats. You're going to do 12 squats and then rest from anywhere to 60 seconds to 120 seconds plus. And then you are going to complete your second set of 12 reps, repeat the same rest period, and then your third set. Next, we have a very common term called supersets. A superset is when you combine one exercise with another and cut the rest out in between. Another common term you will hear as you start to get stronger on your journey or as you want to get stronger on your journey is progressive overload. Progressive overload is essentially what we need to do in our strength training program to build more muscle and to build strength. Progressive overload is kind of exactly how it sounds. You're going to be progressively overloading your body with a stimulus. So this means you could increase the weight or you could increase the repetitions that you're doing or you could even increase the number of sets that you're doing. In case you're wondering, the free three week beginner program that I have teaches you how to implement progressive overload within that plan as well. Another common term not to be confused with superset is a drop set. This is a little bit more advanced, but I'm gonna give you an example of it. Let's say you have to do three sets of 12 hip thrusts and then you have a drop set on your last set. So you're gonna do your first set of 12 reps, your second set of 12 reps, you're even gonna do your third set of 12 reps. And then after you do those 12 reps, you're going to lower the weight that you were doing and do more repetitions. So a drop set is sort of how it sounds. You are just dropping the weight during that set after you complete your repetitions and doing more repetitions. And as you start killing it on your strength training program, you are going to experience DOMS. DOMS stands for Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. And I have an entire video talking about what muscle soreness is, how to combat it, and different things like that, which I will link above. This normally takes four to six weeks of sort of, you get a little bit sore, you recover, you get a little bit sore, you recover, until your body really adapts. Muscle soreness does not define whether a workout was good or bad. If you have any more fitness terms that you have questions about, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you are feeling really excited to start strength training, you're feeling confident and ready to attack the gym. If you ever need any help or you ever have any questions, please leave them below. I am here to help you get as strong as you can and make you the strongest sister you possibly can be. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more workouts. We're gonna even start implementing some gym workouts. But for those of you that are new to the channel and new to strength training, I wanted to make sure you had a complete beginner guide ready for you. I will see you in the next video. Stay strong. Bye girls.